Brick Patterns Part 1 Today we will learn many types of patterns can be made with the help of bricks. And where and how are the patterns made of bricks being used? Even after knowing the shapes, measurement and how bricks are made, we have not yet been able to make beautiful designs with bricks. Someday let us make beautiful designs with bricks. Neha, I know all information about bricks now. Brick is made by baking clay. They are used for construction work. Brick is in the shape of a cuboid. Brick has 6 surfaces and 12 edges. And all the edges and surfaces of the brick are straight. But I think Neha, the real fun would be to make something with them. Vandana, where can I learn more about the uses of bricks? I would like to know more. Why don't we go to Engineer Sir and ask him? Yes, let's go to him. Neha and Vandana, have you come to see the canteen? No, sir. We want to know about the uses of bricks. I told you about the uses of bricks. Bricks are used in construction work. Walls, floors, ceilings, windows can all be made with bricks and beautiful designs can also be made in them with the help of bricks. Patterns made of bricks are used in many places. Actually, wherever bricks are used in construction work, some pattern or the other is definitely used. Is the pattern used even in ordinary walls? Yes, even bricks used in simple walls are in a pattern. See this wall. It is made using many bricks. In making this wall, Bricks are placed one above the other. But a special pattern has been chosen here. Can you suggest another pattern to make a wall? Yes, sir. It will be easy. Why don't we put the bricks on top of each other? Even then a pattern will be formed. You are absolutely right. Now see, this is a wall made using your chosen pattern. And this is a wall made using the pattern I chose. What do you think? Which wall is stronger? Mm, if both walls are made of the same kind of bricks, then sir, both should be equally strong. Why don't you push them both and check? You see now, due to this special pattern, it makes a difference to the strength of the wall. This means that pattern is also an important part in the use of bricks. Yes, when we have to make the wall thicker, then we use different patterns. And for thinner walls, different patterns are used. Sir, where else do you use the brick pattern? We can also make vents using bricks. What is a vent? The gaps that are left in the wall for air circulation are called vents. See, like we have also made some vents in your canteen wall. You can see many similar vents in the buildings. See, I have made a pattern in this vent. Similarly, you can see very beautiful patterns in the vents of the buildings. Now I do not think there is anything else left in the pattern of bricks. Many types of patterns can be made using bricks and such brick patterns can be used in many places for construction work. Sir, can you please repeat whatever you have told us today? Our class is about to start. I told you that many types of patterns can be made with the help of bricks. Brick patterns can be used to make floors beautiful. Brick patterns provide strength to the walls. Thank you, sir. But we still want to know more. Sir, can you show us more beautiful patterns of bricks? I don't have that much time, nor do I have so many bricks now. But I can do one thing. Whenever I see a beautiful pattern of bricks, 
I will take a photo of it. I have a file with many photographs of brick patterns. If you want, I can get it for you tomorrow. Yes, sir. Please get it tomorrow. Tomorrow we will see many examples of patterns made of bricks. Brick Patterns Part 2 Today we will learn how many types of patterns can be made with bricks. Where are the patterns made of bricks used? And why is the pattern used? Today lunchtime is going to be a lot of fun. Why? Because during lunchtime, Engineer Sir will show us many patterns of bricks. Yes, even I am very excited. Sir, we have come. Did you bring with you the file with patterns? Yes, I brought the book with patterns with me. How can I forget it? Sir, let us see some nice patterns. See, these are the patterns made using few selected bricks. Wow, this is such a beautiful pattern. And it is difficult to make these. If you understand its pattern, you can easily make it. Let me make this pattern for you. See, first make groups of three bricks. Let's make the first line from these groups. For that, let's keep a group in such a way that the bricks are vertical. Then keep a different group in such a way that the bricks are horizontal. Once again, a vertical group and a horizontal group. Now, let's make the line below it. Because the top line has started with vertical bricks, then this line will start with horizontal bricks, then followed by vertical bricks and then horizontal bricks. In this way, we make a complete pattern. Hmm. Oh, yes, sir. This is really easy. Sir, please show more patterns. I'll show you. Look. Oh, wow! This pattern is very beautiful. Not only is it beautiful, there is something special about this design. So, what is special about it? This design is mirror half. What does mirror half mean? It means that if you cut this design into two halves and then look at it in the mirror, then you will see the whole design. Yes, sir. It means that the design present in one half is present in the other half too. Absolutely right, Neha. Now look at this design. Sir, this design is a circular shape design. Is it made with vertical bricks? Yes, this is made with vertical bricks. You too can try making such a design at home. Sure, sir. See, now I will show you another circular design made of bricks. See this. Sir, this design is very beautiful. Let me show you one of my favorite pattern. In our childhood, when we did not have stumps while playing cricket, we used to make similar wickets using bricks. Oh, got it, sir. This is related to cricket, so it's your favorite. No, the reason for it being my favorite is that this particular pattern gives strength to the wicket so that the wicket does not fall easily. So, let's try making it. Why not? See, first put three bricks one on top of the other. After that, place this brick on their side like this. Now again, three bricks will be placed one above the other, but this time on this side. This gives strength to the wicket. Now we will place one brick on the side of these three bricks. We will repeat the same pattern once again. So, now show the pattern of walls. Sure. See, I'll show you two patterns of walls. This is the first pattern. It is made when we have to make a thin wall. And this is the second pattern. It is made when we have to make the wall a bit thick. Sir, now show different patterns of vent also. See this vent pattern. Wow, sir! These vents are so beautiful! I've not yet shown you the most beautiful vent. Sir, please show it then. See this. But this is made of thin bricks. Sir, it is so beautiful. 
I cannot believe that such beautiful vents can be made using bricks. Now I will show you the design of an arch. See this. So such a beautiful arch. Is something similar being made in our canteen too? Currently there is no such plan. But I will see if we can do something. So we have seen the pattern of floor, wall, vent, window and arch made of bricks. Are there any other places where bricks patterns are used? Yes, let me show you another place where bricks are used. See this? We have seen this in the garden. Absolutely right. Thank you so much sir for showing us such nice patterns made of bricks. You have seen many designs, but tell me what have you learned? So we learned that many patterns can be made using bricks. The brick patterns are used in buildings to make floor, wall, vent, window, arch and gardens too. Circular patterns can also be made using bricks. Some patterns can be mirror half. Patterns are not only used for design, some patterns also strengthen construction. Very good. Both of you can become good engineers. Brick Patterns Part 3 Today we will learn that circular patterns can be made using bricks. Mirror half pattern can also be made using bricks and it is not necessary that every pattern made of bricks is mirror half. Vandana, we saw so many beautiful patterns made of bricks. But... I still can't believe one thing. On what? The fact that circular shapes or round patterns can be made using cuboid bricks. Engineer sir had asked us to try making it yourself. If you have doubts, then let's try it together. Okay, for this we will need some bricks. Here are few bricks. Let's make patterns using them. Let us first keep these four bricks like this. Now let's make a circle of bricks around them. Then make another circle of bricks around them. Then another and then another one. Look it became a circular pattern. Apart from this I saw another circular pattern in one place. See this pattern. The only difference is that some bricks have been cut into half and used. Yes, now I am sure Vandana that circular patterns can be made using bricks. How wonderful it is. All these patterns made of bricks are mirror halves. Why did you think so? Neha, what is there in it? See, all these patterns are mirror half. These patterns are mirror half. But look at this pattern. Do you think this is also a mirror half? Let me see. If you make it into half and look at it in the mirror, then the pattern is not getting completed. It means that it is not mirror half. Can you show me any other pattern that is not a mirror half? Why not? Look at the pattern on this wall. It is a repeating pattern, not a mirror half. Rightly said. It means some patterns are mirror half and some are not. One more question. What? Bricks are placed one on top of the other to create this pattern. But only half of the brick is above the brick below it. Yes. I thought that the bricks are placed exactly one on top of the other. Patterns can be made by placing bricks one on top of the other. But remember what engineers are said? 
What did he say? He said that some patterns also strand in the wall. See, here the bricks are bonded together and a strong wall is formed. Oh, got it. When sir had made the wicket, then why he had placed three bricks one above the other and placed the next brick beside them? Yes. See, today I taught you three facts. Circular patterns can be made using bricks. It is not necessary that every pattern is mirror half. And the pattern that is made by placing bricks one on top of the other does not necessarily mean that bricks are placed exactly on top of each other. Thank you, madam. <laughs>Building with Bricks Part 1 Bricks in Architecture Part 1 Today we will learn since when has bricks been in use and see some famous buildings made of bricks and the parts of those buildings built with bricks. What are you looking at so carefully? Mm, I'm looking at this wall made up of bricks. Yes, you know, Engineer Sir told us that bricks are used in almost all the construction work. I am thinking the same thing. If bricks are used in all kind of construction work, then did people in ancient times also use bricks? Since when did they start using bricks? And what all did they make using bricks? Are all bricks of the same shape? And what are the other things that we can make using bricks? Then, why are you wasting time? Let's go to Engineer Sir and ask him. I want to know the same as well. Let's go. Neha and Vandana, what do you both want to know today? Sir, I want to know since when are bricks being used and also can you tell us about famous monuments made of bricks and where they are located? That's a very interesting question. Come, let's go to the park and discuss. Are you both ready to know more about bricks? Yes, sir. According to the people who examine old sites, bricks were used for the first time about 9,000 years ago. If they are being used since so many years, there must be so many things made up of bricks. So, please tell us, what all is made up of bricks? Bricks are used not only in India. They are used all over the world. Do you know, some bricks are made by drying in the sun instead of baking in the furnace. They are known as dry bricks, whatever be the kind of bricks or whichever country. Yes, but they have one similarity, the shape of the bricks. All over, these are cuboid in shape. Have a look at it. This is a very ancient village and in this, you can see the use of dry bricks. Since bricks are being used since long time, there must be so many things made up of bricks. Yes, when bricks were the only way to build things, the entire town was constructed only using bricks. Bricks were used to make roads. In the ancient temples, statues and in churches as well, you can see the use of bricks. Bricks have been also used to make towers. And in Germany, the world's highest tower made of bricks is there. There's one assembly in Germany which is made of bricks. And it's very beautiful. And in Poland, there is the biggest castle in the world made up of bricks. And it looks very beautiful. Sir, have you been all these places? Yes, and I have collected pictures of all these places. Sir, can you please show us the pictures? I don't have them with me right now. I'll get them for you tomorrow. Okay, sir. We will come tomorrow during our lunch break to see the pictures. Today, we got to know about those buildings which were built using bricks. Tomorrow, we'll look at pictures and get to know more about them.
Part 2 Today we will learn about buildings that are made of bricks and the parts of those buildings where bricks are used. Hello, sir. Hello, Neha and Mandana. How is your day going? Very good, sir. Sir, did you bring the pictures of the things made with bricks? Yes, of course. How can I forget that? Come, let's go to the park. I'll show you everything there. Tell me, from where should I start? Sir, let's start first from the time bricks came into use. Okay, look at this picture. This picture is of a village which is about 9,000 years old and was made up of bricks. In this picture, you can spot the walls of the warehouse easily. I have another picture of the same place with me. Look at this. Here, you can see the remains of the bricks. You can see by the color of these bricks that these bricks were dried in the sun and not baked. But sir, which is this place in picture? This is Mehargarh, which is in Pakistan now. Mohanjadaro is a very ancient city which was part of the Indus Valley Civilization. Look at some pictures here. You can see the use of bricks in them very easily. In this picture, you can see a stoop and the construction surrounding it, which is made up of bricks. Have a look at the second picture. This is a swimming pool made using bricks. Archaeologists have named it the Great Bath. Have a look. This is another picture of Mohanjadaro. You can see walls and tower here, which is made up of bricks. Sir, this is so old and still it looks so beautiful. Sir, haven't they made anything colourful using bricks? Of course, they have. Look at this picture. In this picture, you can see a blue gate. This is known as Istar Gate. And this was made a long time ago at the border of Babylon. If you look at a close-up of this picture, you will be able to see the bricks used in this. The animals made on this gate, they were also made by making the bricks in unique molds. After drying these bricks, they are coloured. That is why these bricks are very colourful. Sir, I will also become a civil engineer like you when I grow up and I'll go to all these places. In many places in the construction work, instead of using bricks, some other materials are also used. Like what, sir? Like you can see in your canteen. The walls of this are made up of bricks, but its ceiling will be made of concrete. The doors and windows will be made up of wood. This means that brick is not the only material required in making a building. Brick, concrete, wood, iron and other things like these are used to make different parts of a building. Oh, now I got it. That is why some parts do not seem to be made of bricks in this building. For example, look at this image. In this building, the arch also is seen in two different designs. Sir, please explain what is this arch? An arch is a kind of design which does not have a support below it. This is used to make doors, bridges, jharokas, etc. Look at this. The buildings which are made up of only bricks, out of those, this is the one which I like the most. This is another part of the same castle. In this part also, you can clearly see the bricks. It was built in the 13th century. This castle is in Poland. Sir, this is such a beautiful building. I wish I could go here right now. Okay, look at this picture. This is a chill house and this was made in the year 1924. This is a 10 storied building. This is located in Hamburg, Germany. Have a look at the arch on its gate. This is made using bricks only. All the parts of this building are made up of bricks only. Look at the different parts of this building. One part of this building has a very beautiful design made of bricks. Have a look. Wow, sir, this is very beautiful. Yes, sir. I never imagined we can make such a beautiful buildings of bricks. 
Today, you saw different kinds of building all over the world made up of only bricks. You can also find buildings made of bricks around your house. Bye, kids. Brick and its characteristics, part one. In this video, we will learn what are bricks, where are bricks used, how bricks are measured, how many edges and faces are there in a brick, and where and how bricks are made. I want to eat something, but we just had our lunch. Not food. I want to eat an ice cream or something spicy like a samosa. Yes, it's too hot today. I can eat an ice cream with you. But where to get it in school? I wish the canteen is built soon so we could get to eat an ice cream and samosas in school itself. The canteen is getting built since so many days now. It should have been completed by now. Let's go and see. Oh, only this much has been built. I don't know how much more time it's going to take. What are they using to build this canteen? What is this red object? This red object is called a brick. What is a brick and why are you using it to build a wall? This red color small box shaped object you are looking at is called a brick. Brick is a small rectangular box shaped object which is made by baking the clay. So, are the walls of our school also made of bricks? Yes, and not just this school. Your home, all the buildings in this city, bridges are all made of bricks. Bricks are used in almost every construction work. Wow, this brick is a wonderful object. But where does this come from? Bricks are made with clay and they are made in a furnace. With clay? Can you please explain it in detail? Okay. Clay is used to make bricks. Water is added to soil and a dough is made like what your mom makes for chapatis. Then, it is put in a mold to give it the shape of a brick. The brick is then taken out of the mold and is baked in the furnace until it gets hard and strong. You must have seen the furnace at many places. This is how bricks are made. Have you understood? Now we have understood. But here all the bricks are of the same shape. Are all bricks of the same rectangle shape? Yes, all the bricks are of this shape. A rectangular box. In mathematics, this shape is called a cuboid. This brick has so many faces. Can we count them? Yes, every brick has six faces. One, two, three, Four, five, and six. Now, can you count the edges of this brick? Mm, it has twelve edges. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. There is one point to be noted about the faces and edges. What? Did you notice all the faces and edges are straight? Yes, you are right. But are all bricks this small? To measure a brick, we measure its length, breadth and height. The length of this brick is 21 cm, breadth is 10 cm and height is 8 cm. You can find bricks of different sizes, but for our construction, we are currently using bricks of this measurement. So, where can we see bricks of different sizes? To know that, you will have to look for very old buildings. In those days, floors and ceilings were also made with bricks. If you look at them, you will know the importance of bricks. If you want, I will bring bricks of different sizes tomorrow. Yes, sir. Please bring bricks of different sizes tomorrow. We want to see them. Thank you for giving us so much information about bricks, sir. Our class is about to start. We will have to go now. Okay. If you want to know more about bricks, let me know. Neha, did you remember what engineer sir told us? Yes. Let me summarize the information we gathered on bricks today. 
A brick is like a small rectangular box which is made by baking the clay. A brick is used in building houses, bridges and all other types of constructions. Shape of the brick is cuboid. The size of a brick is determined by measuring its length, breadth and height. A brick has 12 edges. A brick has 6 faces. Bricks are baked in furnace. I am waiting for tomorrow because engineer sir will get different sizes of bricks to show us. Me too. Brick and its Characteristics Part 2 I just can't wait to see the bricks. Me too. Engineer sir, we are here. You both look very excited. Yes sir. Did you bring different sizes of bricks for us to see? Yes, I brought them. Please show it to us sir. We can't wait anymore. I will give it to you. But before that, let's recall what I told you last time. Sir, last time you told us Brick is a small rectangular box which is made by baking the clay. Brick is used in building houses, bridges or all other types of constructions. Shape of brick is cuboid. Length, weight and height are used to measure a brick. A brick has 12 edges. A brick has six faces. Furnace is used to bake the bricks. Very good. You remember everything. Come with me. I will show you. The bricks I bought for you are kept there. You take a look at the bricks and let me look around the canteen. If you have any questions, you can come and ask me. Okay, okay sir. sir. Wow, these bricks are of different shapes. No, they are all of the same shape. Cuboid. But their sizes are different. Why not we measure the size of all the bricks? Okay, but I have a question. What are we going to measure in these bricks? That's so simple. We will measure the length, width and the height of these bricks. These three measurements determine the size of a brick. Okay, let's measure them. First, let's measure the length of this brick. The length of this brick is 21 cm. The breadth is 10 cm and the height is 8 cm. Now let's measure this one. The length of this brick is 25 cm. The breadth of this brick is 10 cm and the height is also 10 cm. This brick is 15 cm long. Its breadth is also 15 cm which is same as its length and the height is 5 cm. This brick is 20 cm long. Its breadth is also 20 cm and the height is 5 cm. This brick is the longest of all. Its length is 30 cm. Its breadth is 13 cm and its height is 5 cm. After we have measured the length, breadth and height of all these bricks, we can easily tell the difference between them. If we get all these bricks, it would be so much fun. We could have built so many things. You know, I have similar toy bricks which we can play with and build so many things. Really? I have never seen them. You have seen them and played with them as well. I never knew why we call them bricks. But after getting to know so much about bricks, I now understand why. I still don't understand. I'll come to your place in the evening and then show me your toys, okay? For sure. I was waiting for you. I have taken out my toys. See, these ones. Oh, these toys. Yes, I have played with these ones. These are also just like bricks, but toy bricks. We can build anything with these. Come, let's make something together with these bricks.
brick and its characteristics part 3 vandana let's go and see how much of our canteen has been built let's go we will meet engineers or as well see vandana there are some other shapes of bricks here this one is triangle in shape and look here this one has a round bottom i don't understand this engineers have told us bricks are cuboid in shape then why are these of different shapes these bricks were also of cuboid shape but we needed a different shape so we cut them according to our need that is why you can see some of the bricks are of triangle shape and some of the bricks are round shape does that mean we can cut bricks in the shapes we want yes to make most of the patterns bricks are cut into different shapes since all the bricks are of same shape that's why it is difficult to make different patterns and designs is it easy to cut the bricks yes it is not that difficult to cut the bricks and they can be easily cut without any machine because of this characteristics of bricks they are used in almost every construction that means bricks are only available in cuboid shape yes sir i have a question too yes sir you told us that our house is made up of bricks but i can't see bricks anywhere in the house so does that mean my house is built of some other material and not of bricks no it's not like that your house is also made up of bricks but you can't see it because after constructing the wall from the bricks the brick wall is covered with plaster this gives the wall more strength and it lasts for many years does that mean the walls of my house are plastered yes and they are painted too and this is done to make them even more beautiful yes sir the walls of our house are of pink color so can you please answer one last question why last ask as many questions as you wish unless you ask many questions you will not learn anything ask your question sir my question is when is color added in the process of making bricks which color red color see all the bricks are in red color but you told us that bricks are made of clay so their color should be like that of clay i told you that bricks are made by baking the clay the same way how earthen pots are made both of you must have seen an earthen pot now tell me what is the color of the earthen pot sir red color when clay is dried its color changes to red that is why all clay utensils are of red color and so are bricks of red color no color is added in the process of making bricks now i understand and i was thinking why they don't make colorful bricks we have to go now sir our class is about to start sure but first let's recall what you have learned today all the bricks are in the shape of cuboid which can be cut according to our needs that is why we see bricks of other shapes like triangles and some may have curved sides after building a brick wall the wall is plastered to give it strength no color is added in the process of making the bricks the bricks are red because they are baked in the furnace very good neha and vandana now i think both of you know everything about bricks cost of construction part 1 today we will learn how to calculate the expenditure related to bricks in construction work finally we are sitting and eating in our school canteen yes i can't tell you how happy i am I am glad that we watched the canteen getting constructed and we learned about bricks as well right but how many bricks do you think i used to build this canteen engineer sir only knows this 
where are we going to find him now? The construction is over. He must have gone now. Yes, who will answer our questions now? I will. Sir, how come you are here? I came to check the canteen. I saw you both and stopped. Sir, please tell us how many bricks were used in building this canteen? To build this canteen, approximately six trucks of bricks were used. Six trucks? Can you tell us in detail? I'll explain it. See, one truck has about 2,500 bricks. To build this canteen, six trucks of bricks were used one by one. And all the bricks were used in building this canteen. That is why I said six trucks of bricks. Now I understand. We can count the total number of bricks. How? It is very easy. One truck has 2500 bricks. So to calculate the total number of bricks, multiply 2500 by 6, right? I understood it as well. If we multiply 2500 by 6, our answer will be 15,000. This means that in building this canteen, 15,000 bricks were used. Yes, exactly. This must have cost a lot of money. Yes. How much money did this cost? It's easy to calculate the expense of bricks. It only includes the cost of bricks and the transportation charges for the bricks to deliver at the construction site. Transportation charges? Yes, trucks are used to transport bricks from the furnace to the construction site. The trucks that transported bricks for your canteen charged rupees 700 for one round. This means for six rounds we have to multiply 700 by 6 is equal to 4200. Yes, you are absolutely right, Vandana. So tell me, how much did the bricks cost for the construction of this entire canteen? Sir, you have not told us the cost of one brick. If you tell us that, we will be able to calculate the total cost. The cost of one brick is 5 rupees. If one brick costs 5 rupees, 15,000 bricks will cost 15,000 multiplied by 5, which is 75,000. Total cost of bricks is 75,000 rupees and the transportation charges are 4,200 rupees. Therefore, the total cost is 79,200. Neha and Vandana, your math is really strong. Your answer is absolutely right. After knowing so much about bricks, I want to make something. Can we also make something? Yes, I would tell my parents that if there is going to be any construction work in our house, then let me work out the expenses related to bricks. Today we learned the cost associated with bricks includes the cost of bricks and the cost of bringing bricks to the construction site. Cost of Construction, Part 2 Today we will learn how is the cost associated with bricks in construction work estimated. Vandana comes home from school. She sees that mom is calculating something on paper. Mother, what are you doing? Your father and I have decided to build rooms on the top floor of our house, Vandana. Therefore, I am calculating how much will be the total cost to build that floor. Today in my school, I spoke to our engineer, sir. He told us about the expenditure incurred in bricks in making the canteen. Therefore, I can help you in calculating the expenses related to bricks. That's good, Vandana. Calculate the expenses associated with the bricks. I will calculate the rest. Okay, Mom. But I want to know how many bricks will be needed for that. It is not so easy to find out how many bricks will be required. But as we are going to build just above this floor, 
the number of bricks required has to be more or less the same as the number of bricks used in building this floor. 22,600 bricks were used to build this floor. So you calculate the expenses related to 22,600 bricks. I will calculate the rest. Okay, mom. Now we know that a total of 22,600 bricks will be used. First, let's find how much they would cost us. A brick costs 5 rupees. So to find the value of 22,600 bricks, we will multiply 22,600 by 5. Let's multiply. First, we write 22,600 and 5 like this to multiply them. Now the first 5 will be multiplied by 0. The answer is 0. Now let's multiply 5 again with 0. The answer is 0. Now we will multiply 5 by 6. The answer is 30. 30 has 0 at 1's place and 3 at 10 place. While multiplying we place the digits of 1's at the designated place. And the tens digit is taken as a carryover, which will be expressed like this. Now we will multiply 5 by 2. The answer comes to 10. But we already have 3. So we will add 10 and 3. The answer we get is 13. Now even here, 1s and 10s digits are placed at their designated place. Now again we will multiply 5 by 2. The answer comes to 10. But we already have 1. So we will add 10 and 1. The answer we get is 11. Now we don't have any number for multiplication. So we will write answer as 11. Now we get the answer of multiplying 22,600 by 5. Do you know how to read it? Let me tell you. See, 100,000 is read as 1 lakh, so 113,000 is read as 1 lakh 13,000. This means the total cost of 22,600 bricks will be 1 lakh 13,000 rupees. Now we have to find out how much will it cost us to bring these bricks home. But before that, I have to find out how many trucks of bricks will make 22,600 bricks. 2,500 bricks come in a truck. Then to find out 22,600 bricks will come in how many trucks? Add 2,500 again and again until the answer is 22,600. Adding 2500 5 times, let's see what is the answer. We can also multiply 2500 by 5. You too can find the answer by pausing this video. I have got my answer 12500, which is smaller than 22600. So we will add 2500 to it again. Once again adding 2500 to it, the answer we get is 15,000. The answer we get after adding 2,500 for the 7 time is 17,500. Again adding 2,500, the answer we get is 20,000. And on adding in the 9 time, the answer we get is 22,500. Even after ordering 9 trucks, the bricks are coming down to 22,500. But now we are falling short of 100 bricks. The whole truck will not be called for just a hundred bricks. Then how will we buy the remaining hundred bricks? I will ask mommy. Mommy, even if we purchase nine trucks of bricks, but we still need a hundred more bricks to be purchased in some other way. Vandana, we will not just buy bricks in big trucks. Every month we will purchase two big trucks and one small truck full of bricks. So we will buy all the bricks in four months. How is that, mother? Look, a big truck can hold 2500 bricks and a small truck can hold 650 bricks. Now, if you look at the calculation yourself, then you will know that in this way, all the bricks will come to us in 4 months. Okay, mommy. I will calculate. 2500 bricks come in a big truck. So, to find out how many bricks will come in 2 trucks, multiply 2500 by 2. 
This means that two big trucks will bring a total of 5,000 bricks. 650 bricks come in a small truck. If you add them, then I will know how many bricks will come in a month. Now let's add them. On adding the answer we get is 5650. Mummy had said that in this way bricks will be brought every month for 4 months. To check this, I have to multiply this number 5650 by 4. Multiplying the two numbers gives the answer 22,600, which is equal to total bricks required. This means my mom was right. If we are to purchase two big trucks and one small truck of bricks every month, then 22,600 bricks can be purchased in four months. So we have to purchase a total of eight big trucks and four small truck of bricks in four months. Now let me calculate the cost of transportation. How much does it cost to get bricks in big and small trucks, mummy? It costs 700 rupees to get bricks in a big truck and 350 rupees to get brick in a small truck. It costs 700 rupees to get bricks once in a big truck. So to bring a brick 8 times in a big truck, you have to find the answer of 700 multiplied by 8. Okay, it will cost 5600 to get bricks in 8 big trucks. We have to buy a total of 4 small trucks of bricks. So to find out how much money it will cost, 350 has to be multiplied by 4. This means that a total of 1400 rupees will be spent on transporting bricks in a small truck 4 times. Now I have calculated all the expenses related to bricks including the value of bricks and the cost of transporting the bricks as well. Now let's just add them all. Answer I am getting is 1,20,000 rupees. It means that it will cost us 1,20,000 rupees just to purchase the required bricks to build the top floor of our house. Let me inform mom. Today we calculated the expenses related to bricks in construction work. Similarly, you can also calculate the expenses incurred in any construction work or in our day-to-day -day life.